as in my last video we started looking at HTML DOMs in JavaScript and in this video we will start looking at how to uh, change the HTML content using HTML DOM and JavaScript of course. Now in my last video we looked at uh, the document dot get elements by tag name, ID and class name. Now there's one thing I forgot to uh, note if I just delete my class name and uh, I've got this let's delete this for now so I've got this uh, variable y which equals document dot get element by d text so it finds uh, any tag with an id of text now let's say var x actually and let's put back our uh, tag name variable x which finds the tag h1 now let's say var x equals uh, actually yeah let's make var x equals y dot document dot get elements by tag name h1 what that does is because we put the variable y in front of the doc document dot get elements by tag name now the this command over here will find that all of the h1 tags inside the text not in, yeah inside the text id okay so we have for example like a not here because that's within a text so we have like a div id equals text and we have a div and we have like a h1 h1 over here say h1 here and outside the div we have another h1 say h1 here too with this variable x we'll only find this h1 tag over here because it's inside the id of text now in practice you don't uh, want to have two uh, h1 tags in a single document but that's all got to do with SEO uh, stuff so I'll talk about that in my upcoming SEO videos sometime after JavaScript and all the other uh, videos I'm planning to do so let's delete that and there we go that's uh, another way of finding tag names or class name inside IDs and vice versa now let me delete this and start talking about uh, ways to change HTML. Now, the most obvious and easiest one is one of uh, one of the ones we actually I used for some of my previous videos, which is document .write. What this does, obviously, is it directly outputs whatever is inside here into the HTML. So let's say document .write. Hello, save that and refresh. That outputs hello. Now, say uh, instead of just normal text, what we could do is say, for example, we could do, I don't know, we could create var z equals 5 plus 3, and we could simply uh, put a variable inside, not a string or number, and if we refresh, that will output the variable 8, which is 5 plus 3. Now document.write is really useful but you have to be careful when using document.write. Say for example in our body tag we have a paragraph tag and inside that let's say we have this is a paragraph paragraph and of uh, let's create a button <coughs> so button type equals button and uh what was it on click and equals that and button and just write button turn and inside this on click we are going to write a function that we're going to create now so inside a script tag let's create a function uh write no arguments and inside the curly brackets let's say document dot write I used document dot write to write this text there we go now if I put my 
function right inside here what this does is there's a button and if I click it it uh, runs this command which in this case is function write which is document write and it outputs this text now if I refresh what we have is the p tag which is this is a paragraph and we have a button now what we need to be careful when we're using document write is that once we have uh, a content in this case this is a paragraph tag okay and then we use document right after that let's see what happens oh it deleted everything that's strange uh, let's see what I did wrong on click equals right button button I used document right to uh, did I do something wrong Let's see, uh, this is right, function right, document dot right. I could try changing this like test if that helps. Fresh. Oh, there we go. Apparently, you can't use, uh, oh yeah, you can't use, uh, apparently, you can't use specific, uh, names for function names such as right, I guess because when I change right to test it actually work let's try changing to some random a a a a oh, that works so about that okay moving on now what document.write does is when I click this it's it actually overwrites the content which was already there in order to uh, do the document.write and write the text which was inside so if you have a uh, HTML web page with loads of content inside and you use document.write to write something when a user clicks a button it will just overwrite everything and just uh, display this plain document.write so you need to be careful when using document.write after the document is loaded so after this is loaded I use the button to uh, use document not write and if I do that it will overwrite the document now there's a couple more stuff I want to talk about in terms of changing HTML content and attributes but if I start talking about that it's gonna go past the 10 minute mark which I try not to so uh, I'll stop my video here so this video was in this video I talked about uh, the th one thing that I forgot to talk about in my previous video which was doing like y.x.document.getElementById stuff and we talked about the document.write and how to when not to use it yeah so thanks for watching and I'll see you later